Hello everybody, hello all the people, hello to the beautiful black women, hello to beautiful black men, and uh, the rest of everybody else, I don't even know. Today we're gonna start the Jamaica prep vlog, woo! There's Salida in the back, I love her so much. Yeah. Today we're starting the Jamaica prep vlog, and the first thing I'm starting with is clean. I've also decided like with my YouTube, I'm not gonna be as strict on myself anymore. I just wanna create content that I like, that makes me laugh, and it's all about me. Everything's about me. As you can see on my calendar, it's so full. Today is the 18th. I leave. Today we have cleaning my room, last minute Christmas shopping. I'm doing stocking stuffers for my family instead of like actual gifts because I will not be here for Christmas. Um, and I did not want to stress myself out. I'm doing that because it makes me feel cute. And then Tuesday, we're gonna clean my bathroom and then we're gonna do last minute shopping. Oh, we're gonna pack for the trip. And we're gonna do last minute shopping. So this should be a vibe. I'm actually getting a little bit of um, deja vu. Oh, well, I think I did this last year, like last year, same time, but I just never posted a video. Like that's my problem. And I think like I overthink and I literally was gonna post a video, bro. I was gonna post a video like I actually liked how the video turned out why the heckers why did I accidentally record it in SNQ mode I don't know if the SNQ stands for slow and quiet but that's what it was slow and quiet it was really mute there was no sound and it was slow I feel like in a sense that was kind of like sort of sign after that happened and I deleted it and I was just so sad and everything and I've been questioning like lately like what if this is something that I want to do that I'm just not being called to do another creator who I really look up to she literally had the same thing happen to her but she still posted her video so I'm taking that as a sign I hope it's the right time. I'm gonna give y'all a little bit before of the room. I was gonna keep the sound on and I was gonna chit chat with you guys maybe. <laughs> but I need a lock in. And this room ain't cool. So whenever my father calls me and I'm on DD, he texts me saying that I'm on DD. <laughs> I know, sir. I know that I'm on DD. Don't piss me off. <laughs> Hello, father. You do your girl. I don't know if this is just something that I made up in my head. Using baking soda, pouring baking soda on your carpet before you vacuum and letting it sit. I feel like it makes it cleaner and I also feel like it makes it softer. Baking soda is Um, I just wanted to be a little influencer and show y'all just all of my hygiene stuff, really. Look at her. Look at the woman, man. Look at her. That ain't my, that ain't my girl, that's my nigga Catch me out on ocean vibes with her Ay. Catch me in the whip, ride with her Ay. Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her Pray you get that job in Tampa That's only four hours away Little fit check before I leave the house Got on the Skims dupe Put this hoodie and some slides Yeah Never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I. I'm at the gas station and I low key always hate coming to the gas station. Some way, some form, like it's a blessing if I leave the gas station and nobody talks to me. And that's all I want. All I want is for nobody to talk to me. I'm just like, they never, they never talk with substance. If y'all gonna talk to me, talk with substance. I mean, like I got on that. Well, I've checked things where I have no substance. I am. Every single time I go into that America's Best, they just always got an attitude. Like, ever since I turned 18 and I've been going like there myself because you know I'm 18 and stuff. Every single time I go, they got like the hugest attitude, like for no reason. Like, it's not even an attitude, it's just they're just like weird. Yeah, I got my glasses tightened so they can stop falling off my face. 
I'm just gonna start going to a different America's best. Cause I, I, I'm such a light. Like I will like I'll compliment you if I see something nice on you. Like I be looking for stuff to compliment on people. I'll really I'll come in there with a smile. Da -da -da -da. You know, I talk good. I, you know, like, I'm really a nice person, and I'm really just so... I just don't like when people don't match my energy. Like, even when I'm not in a good mood, and somebody comes with energy like that, it lifts up my energy. Like, you're that, like, negative that you can't even, like... Positivity isn't even contagious to you anymore because of how negative you are. If that's what it is. I could just be tripping, but, I mean, it's the third time now. Oh, yeah, and I, as, as I was walking, I was crossing the street. These guys saw me, and they had slowed down. He was trying to get my number. I don't mind giving people my number. I really don't. What, with the, with the big thing where I was like, yeah, you're not even... You're in the passenger seat, and he had free forms. I don't mind free forms, but it gotta be a certain look to them. And his were not the look that I like. His was, like, Florida-type look. Like, I don't like that. I like... If you're gonna have free forms, I want it to just be your it's just free. But it's not like who did it and why. It's it's given free and not tree. This the best we gonna do. I'm in Target. I forgot to um show that I was in Target because as I was walking in, something flew into my eye. I'm in the Ulta, I'm in the Ulta beauty section. I see so many things that I want, but it's like I'm leaving. There's so many people here. This is the brush I was talking about. Footage of me. Oh, is it footage of me? I wish a nigga would hit me now. Footage of me coming out of Target after spend. Oh, after spending all of my money unnecessarily. Woo! How does how does Target get away with this every single time? Why do we continue letting them get away with this? Like, why is two things twenty one dollars? All I know is that. All I know is that my ball moves. Stiff for. Stiff. Stiff. Oh, okay, because I thought. Oh, okay, because I thought. Oh, okay, because I thought. I was like, hey, man, how did I? I forgot that I'm doing multiple days in one, so I don't want to have too much footage like for one day. So I'm going to end it off here with a little taste test. I did want to put y'all on to this food. Whoever watches this because it's so good. So I got it from Mr. Cow. Um, and I got three because they're so good. So this one is the first one. And ah, uh, this is Yam Yam Shiro. They actually have all of their like flavors on the back right there. They have flavors on the top. And then the fillings is on the bottom. But all of mine are filled with mozzarella cheese. Mm-hmm. Like these little squares is yam, sweet potato. And then it's cinnamon sugar. Yo, this stuff is so good. Like, I can't stress enough. Like, I've been craving it. All right, this one is Fruity Pop. And it has Fruity Pebbles on it. And I get some powdered sugar on it, too. Their sweet ones, it's just so much better than the savory ones. Like, I don't know. Like, the sweet ones are just so good. Mmm. This, the Yam Yam Churro, is a 15 out of 10. This one is a cool 11. It's good, it's just not as good as a yam yam jiro. This one is the Mexicanaco. It has like, literal like condensed milk on it. Bro. I don't know what canaco is. Actually, I, th I think it's just yellow bean powder, which is also on it, if you can't tell. Mm. 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 It's so, so good. Like, wow. If you tomorrow, go, go do yourself a favor. Get you some Mr. Cow, because you will not regret it. I don't know why I lied like that in the previous clip. I forgot that I had other stuff to do for today. Let's do a little haul of the stuff that I got from Target and also all the stuff that I have for the stockings and the stockings themselves. This one is my brother's. It's so cute and they're so fluffy. I got them from Final Below, by the way. This one is my aunt's. She just has like this luxury vibe to her and something about like white fur just gives luxurious to me and it's like a sweater. It just looks like that, I don't know. I think this one is my mom's. They had a green one, but it was ugly. If this was like a foresty green, I definitely, it would have definitely fit her even more. I don't know, again, it just it just gives her vibe. And then this is my grandmother's and the gray is really what did it. I didn't even realize these were like the same print until like after I bought them and I was like, oh. But the gray just like, it was the only gray one there. And I don't know, I feel like she'd wear, I don't know. It just looks, it just looks like her. I don't know how to explain it, but I really looked like I looked at them and I was like, 
what it looks like. These people, I don't know. I got this from my mother. I got my brother a robe. Ooh, I don't want to say it because he's here. But you see what it is. And then this stuff, it really wasn't specific. I did get this in the alt section. Yeah, I got two of these because my family really loves Fenty. And I also got a little mini fussy. A little mini one, which I think I'm gonna give to my grandma. And then I got this lotion. I also got bio oil, a little tiny bio oil. I got a little baby native deodorant. This thing from Philosophy, but it is a shampoo. I don't know, I was just like, it's cute. I'll put it in there. Oh, the Better Than Sex Mascara and the Lip Injection from Too Faced. Sexy lips and lashes. I got two of these because I want to try this for myself, but I, I got also got one. Honestly, I'm debating on making this for me or making it as a gift. I mean, yeah, I literally have oil on my face. It's not just natural oil. Mm -hmm, it's taking it. I mean, I already opened it up. This is mine. <laughs> so, I will keep. Want to try this lip, sh lip injection thing now? <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. There's a little tingle. I don't think I've ever used any like lip pumping anything because I just feel like my lips are already plump. I don't know. I guess a little bit more couldn't hurt or could it? Because it feels like it's hurting. Y'all, why does this hurt so much? I'm literally about to sue them. Why does this hurt this bad? Y'all, oh my God, this hurts so bad. When does the tingling stop? Like, did I? Because I want to stop now. Is this what y'all go through to get like plumper lips? Like, why am I like dying right now? If my lips are not more plump than before. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna bathe and get into my night clothes, wrap up my hair and whatnot, and we'll touch back. Well, but I was after my shift. Bro, look at me, bro. bro. I go to work to get beat up by boxes and I'm not even putting on them. Bro, look at my pants. How, how the bottom of my sock dirty? If you love your life, don't work at FedEx. I feel like I just got, I, I, I just got beat up by three people all at once. Jumped around. Five times over. And then oh, I'll come back when I'm rejuvenated and I'm happy. Because right now, I'm suffering. And I'm about to sue. So guys, I'm so silly. It's currently, that says 15.30. That means it's currently 3.30. I was supposed to be back up at like 12 something. I still gotta go to Walmart. I still gotta pack. And I still have work tomorrow at 2.30 a.m. Right now I'm about to head to my aunt's house. I mean, not my aunt's house, my aunt's job. Because she has something for me, apparently. Y'all can see my aunt. And y'all can see exactly what I meant by like how she literally is like luxurious. The white stocking looks like her. I'm not even playing. I got you a stocking that was white, and I said it looks like you, and I told the vlog. I'm black. No, but it's just so luxurious and nice, and I was like, it gives your vibe. And I told the vlog that I was gonna show you so that they could see that you're luxurious and nice, but you know what? She don't wanna be in the vlog, so. No, right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I felt like it was gonna be this. You knew it was I kinda did. Oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> This is so pretty! You know I'm not wearing it today. Oh. And you know it's so crazy. Because it, it, it came off. <laughs> what do you mean? This is so cute Dang, too. how did you know I got you a charm? That sucks. You're not, you're bad at hiding the gifts that you get. <laughs> I think you asked me about um, 50 times if I need you? charms for my bracelet. <laughs> I was like, it's either this or money or something else that I would have never thought of. I forgot I was vlogging. The Walmart trip is literally done now. I don't know, like, I'm thinking, what do boys like? so kitty. I don't want him to be mad at me if I get him something that's too kitty. I know he likes fidgets and they have these. Is it bad that I want the Kylie doll or she made her skin too dark? But girl, you are not this dark in real life. I don't know. Am I supporting colorism? Probably. Okay. 
I know for a fact he likes Minecraft, and that fits perfectly in a stocking. I don't know why I was so nervous to record in public before. People don't care what you do. At all. Like, at all. I have no point in vlogging anymore. I'm about to go check out. This is Walmart. This is very much so Walmart. Why is Boosie here? That's him. I don't know if you can see him. Right there. I didn't know he lived in Georgia. Anyways, I'll come back when I'm home. Hey, soul sister. Okay. We're packing. Whoa, whoa. She's just here for moral support, yeah. to be very honest. Like and also Yeah. Oh, sorry. I got this this little bag. This um <laughs> It's a duffel bag that folds out. And I think the color is just so cute. You can't really see because of the lighting and stuff. It's like a nice powder blue color. It's the next day. I'm still not done packing. I'm just going speed lapses. live from the recording room yes i am i had three videos that were supposed to go right here updating y'all about my little task right before i went onto my plane onto my flight and possibly some clips from when i was in the airport hey where are they now <laughs> only god knows i don't know where those clips went it's january 5th i'm back in america I could, I, even if I wanted to, I couldn't even try to act like I knew where those clips went. But basically, I got my nails done. And some unfortunate events happened, and I vented about them. The tea's done. I'm just lying. Next thing I know, we're in Jamaica. And I have a little tiny story time for y'all. And then after that, you know, you just go ahead and you have you a good, good new year. Because it's already January. But I was going to say, happy holidays. Because it was Christmas, before Christmas, when I posted, when I recorded this. But, hey, you know, sometimes, hey, I'm just a girl. Good night, people. We finally come to the end, and I am now in Jamaica. And as I unwind, I'm going to give you a little story time. This flight experience was probably the worst flight experience I've ever had, like, ever. And really, honestly, truly, it's really just because of this one experience that I'm going to talk about. Everything else is fine. It's just... It, everything was just so ghetto. So I go onto the plane. First thing, I get to my seat, whatever, whatever. First thing that kind of was like, what? Like, I don't want to say foreshadowed, but kind of foreshadowed. This guy, he was sitting in my row. As I walk up to my seat, I see him like hurrying up and getting to the window seat all giddy. And I'm just like, bro, the window seat was my seat, by the way. I'm just like, bro, you're a grown man. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I thought first. And he literally had an aisle seat. Like, I can understand if he was in the middle. Your seat was an aisle seat, and you're scurrying over to the windows. Anyways, that's not even like the top bad, but it just kind of, it icked me. And then next person who sit down is this man. And him come sit down, he's in the middle seat, him come sit down, and he's sprawled out like this. <gasps> sit down in the seat like that. So his arms is over in my seat, over in the other guy's seat, but the plane hasn't taken off yet. So I'm just kind of like, surely he'll move, right? I want to post this by Sunday. I'm editing on this plane. I've had that thought. I was like, I'm going to try to fight the sleep. I'm going to edit the videos on this plane. Whenever the plane takes off, because if you've been on the plane before, then you know, like, you're really not supposed to be using no big electronics like a laptop before the plane takes off or I don't know why. I mean, I have like guesses, but I don't know the actual like reason. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, whenever it takes off, I'll just ask him if he could just move his hand because, yeah. I know like this is crazy because I've never seen somebody like sit on a plane and especially in the middle seat and I've flown on a lot of planes and literally sit on like this, like both of his hands spread out on the armrest. Like this, like as if he was the only person in the aisle. Not nobody does that. 
This rag they gave specifically to lose on your face. And even a little card and everything. And they met this something so hard that it scratched me. Can you see that? You never, you that grimy. I see. So we take off now and I got to ask him my simple request. Do you know just move it? I wasn't even asking him to move his hat. I was even asking if he could just like move it back so that I can have more room because when I edit, I edit like with my right hand and he was stepping up the right hand side. So like if he was on my left doing that, then I wouldn't really care that much. He was on my right and I needed to use my right hand. He says something. I didn't really hear him. I was like, I'm just asking because I'm about to do the work or whatever. And then he said something else. But it I know he was basically like not agreeing to what I was saying because one, he wasn't doing it. He made sure his hand stayed there. And two, he just had like I heard an attitude in his voice. You know, you're, you don't seem like you're doing anything. Like, I'm about to actually like, do work. You're just watching a movie, whatever, whatever. And he said something else. I don't know what he said. And then I asked him, do you have to be spread it out like that? And he said, I do have to be spread out like this. So I asked him, I, I said, what? So he said it again. No, he didn't say it again. He was like, you never hear what I just said or something like that. Something like, that. you heard what I just said. With like, just load and attitude so i'm like oh okay so i pushed his hand off or something and he was like thank you and i was like oh really no so let me just put the armrest all together if i can have it none of us after he pushed my hand off i did cuss by the way after him i don't know what i said I, it wasn't like nothing serious but i did i'm not gonna sit here and act like i was a perfect angel didn't move didn't budge so i pressed the button to call for assistance and I was like, oh, I'm gonna move then because I need to do more. And you're literally deliberate. Like, he sees what I'm doing. Like, he sees it. And I asked him nicely. And he was deliberately choosing to, to just be like a nuisance to me. So, yeah, I called the people in. You know, I told them exactly. Like, I wasn't I wasn't saying, like, no, oh, he needs to leave. And I wasn't hard blaming it on him. I was like, if I can move, because I'm not like, I'm, I'm, I'm not, it's not about him. It's about the fact that I need to do my work and he's stopping me. You know, they found somebody who wanted to switch with me, but she was all the way in the back and I kind of felt like it because I was already in the back and I was like, why would anyone want to switch with me from the front? So I already knew it was going to be somebody from the back. So I wasn't even sweating that. I just wanted to move. He starts talking about, oh, well, I'm this and how oh, I did that and how oh, women are this and how oh, worst part about women is their mouth and da 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 da. Once, the one thing that I said, I was like, something along the lines of how you talk about women so much and you are one or something like that because you're acting like one. Come on. I hate when adults act like they have no sense. You're grown. Why are you catching attention because I wanted you to move your arm? You're grown. Like you're grown. Like old. Like desolate. Is that the, is that the right word? I'm just saying so. But yeah, that kind of threw off my whole entire mood because I don't do arguments and stuff, so whatever I do, I be like shaking for like 30 minutes after. And look how I'm feeling my sleeves. You know, I'm a little freaking out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this entire vlog and there's more to come for this year, 2024. It's the year of technology. We're in the future, guys. It's time to evolve. Yes, I hope you had a great Christmas and a great New Year. And blessings to all of Uno. Bless up on Uno strong. Remember to keep God with you in your Bible and your bedside. Have a good New Year, everybody. Clink. <laughs>